Okay, Kranjska Gora, I think that's how you say it. We are deep in the Alps in Slovenia. So we're gonna try to find some mountain food. We're gonna tour around this area, all around the provincial park and the Alps for a couple days and try and get some Tolman cheese, some local cheese, some dairy, some local uh, different pasture raised meats that they have here. And definitely we're gonna find some mountain food, some heavy stick to rib Slovenian mountain food. It's official, this is the nicest tennis court I've ever seen. The clay with the Slovenian Alps in the background. Must find mountain hut with local cheeses and charcuterie. Is that water real? Looks fake. Look at that mountain goat. Probably makes good cheese. Stroll by the tourist center in town. Look at this little professional handball league. All these logos. We got basketball, of course. Luka Doncic. This is the Losko Lasko team. Look at these awesome logos. I think I'm most excited by this game. It looks like Serie Bobozna. Looks like the Olympic handball or volleyball tournament. Great branding. A true Slovenian snail. I wonder if they have a little escargot, alpine dish, maybe some local mountain herbs, local butter, that nice snail. Could be good. Is there cheese in that? Wow, so this is what they talk about. This is why it's fancy. Give me alpine cheese. Looking for alpine cheese. Trout. Feed me trout. Mushrooms. Must find mushrooms. The local animals. The gams. Golden eagle. Ibex. Maybe we'll see some animals. Look at this mountain dwelling. Not a bad spot. Okay, 3,000, or three hour hike to this mountain shed that's 1,226 meters above sea level in the mountains. Let's see what kind of food they have here. A little hike in shed with a little service road. Look at this old dog. Shout out to my home country of Bombardia, Canada, snow. Mobile. Wow. Does this have cheese, buckwheat, and cheese and sauerkraut? Mm. Missing goulash? Whoa, this is homemade and tasty. The sauerkraut has little specks of juniper berry. Just like pine trees. Look at this, 70 years. Slovenia's finest beverage. A herbal extract, it's kind of like Coca-Cola. <sighs> Coca, Kokta. Tastes like the mountains. Yeah, I'm reading it. it. says Kokta comes from, the main ingredient comes from dog rose hip. Other ingredients, 11 different herbs. Lemon and orange. Yum. What a meal. Buckwheat dumplings. Filled with cheese. Beautiful venison or deer goulash. Lots of paprika in there, I think. And that Kokta, local Slovenian soft drink. That was a great little mountain meal fuel for the trail down. I'm telling you, you can hike, hike hut to hut in this park. It's pretty cool, and the food is way better than it used to be. In North America, that food is garbage. 
You know, they gouge you up there, 10 euro. Honest plate of food, cook with someone that cares. Look at these mountain meadows, you can imagine cows grazing on these pastures, making delicious cheese. A yeti out there somewhere in the mountains, terrorizing people. What mythological creatures are in these hills? Who lived here 50 years ago? Where's their family now? Probably turned it into an Airbnb. But Grandpa, Grandpa had a good place. Grandpa was a badass. I wonder what these are for, these little towers. I think they're for hunting. You'd sit up there with a gun, shoot rabbits or grouse or something. But they're all over the landscape here. Someone tell me. Some Slovenian, tell me what those wooden towers are, if you're watching. I look at scenes like this and I'm like, who is making shit? Like, where's the salami? Where's the beans? Who's making honey? Who's air drying hams? You know, who's making the cheese? I'm like, where's all, you know, all this amazing pasture? I'm like, you know stuff was being made 20, 30, 40 years ago. You know, all through these hills. You know, some guy was making some weird Jägermeister type concoction, some herbal drink. And for some reason, all of that's gone. And I'm like, why? Why? There's the ski run. What a sledding hill, too. I never realized how massive these things were. This ski jumping pad, holy shit. Launch off up there, land down at the bottom. Mm, I'd do it. Look at this little mountain hut. Feed me dumplings, Slovenian dumplings. What a restaurant location. Walk in only. Hard liquor, strong. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. This is barley with sausage and local mushroom soup. Oh my god. These are big chunks. I think these are like porcinis. Definitely from the forest. Inside this old costilna, which means like an old ski inn. Look at this place. Old dining room. So cool. Just in each day station, we are taking this beauty farther, deeper into the Slovenian Alps. I think it's called Bohinj Bistrica. Little local train. Look at this thing. Had a nice little walk there through the through the mountains, and now we'll go check out a couple lakes and some more mountain food. Hopefully. Find some of that cheese. Tolman cheese is what we're looking for. That soup we had yesterday with porcini, locally forged porcini, was probably the best soup I've had all year. I think it was three euro. Price of porcini a lot lower than it is in the US or even Italy. So fragrant. A highlight.